Hi, this is Ren here at Seven Cups Fine Chinese Teas, and today we're going to go over how to prepare a new Yixing clay pot. We'll also call it the sour purple sand pot. So here's the simple version. You're going to take your pot, rinse it out in cool water to get rid of any sand or burrs that there may be on the inside, then soak the whole thing with lead in cool filtered or spring water. I would say two to three hours. After that, fill it up with one serving of tea. For these pots, I would use about four to eight grams of tea and top it up with boiling water. That lets sit until the water cools, then pour out the tea and refill it using the same leaves with more boiling water. Do this process about two to three more times, dump out the tea, and you are ready to start brewing. Now that might have been a little bit different explanation than what you're expecting, so let's talk about why these pots need to be prepared in the first place. Yixing teapots get their name from the city of Yixing, which is where the clay used to make them comes from. The reason that that matters is because unlike porcelain or glass teaware, or as you can see on this porcelain gaiwan lid, it's pretty non-porous, Yixing pots are unglazed, so the tea that you're making in them is making direct contact with the clay and will be affected by what kind of clay that is, which is why people enjoy these pots in the first place. Now a big part of the preparation process is to help get rid of any remaining dust, burrs, anything left over from the process of making these pots, as well as to cut down on the harshness of that mineral effect from a pot that's never been used before. So how much prep you're going to have to do on your new pot is really going to come down to your individual pot. How it was made, the clay use, the quality of the craftsmanship, as well as your own personal preferences. Uh, there's a lot of guides out there on how to prepare a yixing pot involving things like boiling in sugar cane or boiling your pot in tofu. So I'm going to give you um, a rough overview of a boiling method that you can use to season your pot if you want to do something a little bit more involved. You're going to start with the same thing. Take your pot, rinse it out with cold water, get rid of the dust, get rid of any burrs, and soak it in that cold water for two to three hours. You might as well just do it overnight. I find it's easier to not have to keep track of time. Now after that we get to the boiling part. So the main risk with the boiling method is if your pot moves around too much while it's getting boiled, you risk cracking it. So you're going to start with a nice large pot that you can easily fit your yixing pot in. And then what I would do is I would get some uh, like a cheesecloth or just a cloth that you know has no scent, like a neutral cloth, and you're going to line the pot with that. You're going to fill it with that same filtered spring water or whatever that you're using. Place your pot in there. Place your lid in there in a way that when the water boils and agitates, they won't knock together because that's another big risk. So once you've got everything all protected and sitting in the pot, you can turn it on and get it to the lowest simmer that you can. So the goal is to keep the water pretty close to boiling but without creating enough air bubbles that you're agitating your pot. Now you want to do that for, I'd say, 30 minutes to an hour. After that, just like the other method, let the water cool down completely. It's going to take a lot longer since you're using a whole pot. And then add some tea leaves and do it again. The tea leaves part is optional, but if you're already boiling your pot, you might as well do it with some tea leaves. So just toss in a little bit of tea leaves, do low simmer again, make sure everything's protected, make sure that nothing's knocking about with the boiling action, and then let that cool down. Repeat that as many times as you'd like, you really don't need to do it too many times, and that would be the boiling method. Alright, so that was two different methods on how to prepare a new Yixing pot. Yixing pots can often feel pretty personal, so I hope this video helped you decide on how you want to prepare your new pot. And remember that the best way to season your pot is simply by brewing more tea. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.